Today on Karamo, Nicole has believed Jesse is her father for her entire life. That was until last week. Where have you been for the last 32 years? When this man, Kevin, told her he is her real father. I hope Jesse is my dad because he's all I've ever known. Are you upset with your mom? I am. Can Nicole's mother explain this situation? Did you know this? No, I didn't. Can these two men handle this situation? I tried to find you and couldn't. So don't even say that, bro. Dad, that you know. That's not what this is about. Is there any possibility that anyone else could be her father, Gina? Two incredible DNA outcomes will be unlocked. We have two envelopes. Which one of these two men is Nicole's father? <sighs> oh, I'm so scared. Don't miss these two DNA outcomes unlocked. My guest Nicole says she got a shocking Facebook message last week from a man named Kevin claiming to be her father. Problem is, Nicole has spent the last 32 years believing Jesse is her dad. They are all here to solve this DNA mystery. Everyone, please welcome Nicole to the show to hear her side of this story. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, nice you to meet you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Come on, pretty lady. Yes. You look gorgeous. Thank you. All right, so please, this, this reading that was even shocking for me. Tell me about the Facebook message you received last week. Last week? Yeah. This is recent. Um, so, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no worries. It's okay. My, I got a call from my mom, and she go, said um, that she got a message from Kevin. And I said, Kevin who? And she said, your dad. Mm. So I was like, my dad? Like, <laughs> my entire life, I thought that Jesse was my dad. Yeah. So she told me, you know, I gave him your information. If he wants to reach out, he'll reach out. So I just happened to get a Facebook message from this random page, so I read it. And it was like, hi, baby, I'm your father. Yeah, we have a screenshot of the DM. Hi, baby, this is your father. I would really love to have a talk with you, and I will call you or do this Facebook when I get home from the doctor about 4 p.m. I mean, it's, it's so informal. It's, it's very like, you know, yeah. which is so interesting. It's not like, hey, yeah. you don't know me. Right. He's like, hey, baby, like, y'all have yeah. been talking every day. Right. Wow. So what, do you, what did you think when you read that? Do you think it was a joke, maybe? No, it, I was surprised. Um, it honestly, I felt angry. Yeah. Because I just thought, like, who are you to just up and message me like that? I'm 32 years old. Yeah. Like, really, after so long, you just, and like you said, it's like, we don't talk. I haven't spoken to you. And then you just message me like, we're the best of friends. Yeah. So it kind of honestly really, really, really upset me. Have you heard Kevin's name before? Once. Uh -huh. um, when I was 17 years old, my aunt mentioned him. Mm. Um, she stated that my mom had an envelope with his name where he was um, and all the information. But when I asked my mom, she said she didn't want to talk about it. Got it. So I let it go. Got it. Let it go. OK. Yeah. And did you grow up with a father figure? So I did. Um, from until I was five years old, I had Jesse. Mm -hmm. um, and then from five to about 13, I had nobody. Okay. Um, at 14, my mom got married again. Mm -hmm. And um, my stepdad was the best. Okay. He recently passed away September last year. Mm, I'm um, so sorry. He was the best. Anything I could ever want or need. He'd move mountains to make sure that I had it. Got it. I so. He was. But even though you were raised by this, your, your stepdad, who just passed, by the way, sorry again, I know. Thank you. You were still told Jesse's your father. How my, was your relationship with him? Right now it's strained because I feel like he does not understand me. Mm -hmm. um, he gets very defensive when anything he feels isn't right comes to him. So if I express, that's my dad, I say, hey, dad, this bothers me because you weren't here for this point in time in my life, he just, he kind of like, like, well, I was doing it understandable, but I needed you. Yeah. There was a point in my life where I didn't have nobody, yeah. you know? So I felt like a lot of the times when I do talk to him, his, his responses to me are very self-centered. Why wasn't he in your life after you were five? Because you said from five to 13. Um, 
As far as I know, he was incarcerated. Got it. Okay. But um, to be completely honest with you, that's no excuse to me. Yeah. So are you upset with your mom? I am. Why? In a way, yes. Because I feel like she should have told me the truth. I feel like my mom is my best friend, and we do not sugarcoat anything when it comes to each other. But I honestly feel mixed emotions because I feel like my entire life, you knew how bad I struggled with not knowing who I am for real. You know, not know who is the other half of me? Like, where do I come from? Because Jesse wasn't there. Yes. And I just, I feel like when I came to her at 17, you know, hey, hey, Nikki, this is, I'm trying to protect you, or this is the reason why I don't want you to be around either one of them. And she didn't do that. And it destroyed me. I felt so worthless. Mm. I felt defeated. Yes. Some things I didn't want to tell my mom, and I wanted to tell my dad. I didn't have the love that I longed for from my dad when I was a kid. And then I got it from my stepdad, and then he passed away, so I just don't have it anymore. Got it. And I don't, I just honestly want to know where I come from, who I am, because I feel like not having my biological dad, I don't know myself. How do you feel about the conversation with Kevin? I feel a mixed emotions. I feel angry. <laughs> All the resentment I've put away, I've, it, it resurfaced. Cause I, I just think why? Like what, I honestly felt like when he messaged me, it was because of guilt. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I'm a grown adult, I have children. Why now, why even? uproot my life why I always say the only feeling I haven't felt is happiness mm. I'm so sorry so would helping you get truth here today help you to feel yeah. happiness I hope so I feel like today <sighs> oh, you're sweet, baby. <sighs> today will give me the peace of mind and even closure that I've longed for my entire life. Mm. I gotta ask you, when was the last time you saw Jesse? On my fifth birthday. Five. Mm -hmm. And when was the last time you saw Kevin? I have never saw Kevin. Mm. Um, um, I do have a memory, it's my fondest memory and to, to this day, of um, one of his family members. We used to sit in her wheelchair, she would comb my hair, we'd play Barbies. She'd rock me to sleep and I did ask my mom who it was and she said it was Kevin's sister. Mm. So. So you it's, have that memory there, yeah, but you just didn't know who that was. Yeah. So what do you want the DNA results to be today? Honestly, I hope, I hope Jesse is my dad because he's all I've ever known. Um, listen, the man that was recently reached out to Nicole on Facebook claiming to be her father is joining us virtually. Um, for the record, Nicole has never met Kevin before in person. Um, so everyone, please welcome Kevin to the show. Um, so Kevin, thanks for being here. How long have you known yep. Nicole was your daughter? Uh, since she was born. Where have you been for the last 32 years? I tried to find you and couldn't. A shocking piece of information will come out next. Did you know this? No, I didn't. Will Nicole find out her father is Kevin? Tell me that Jesse is very upset backstage. Or find out it's always been Jesse. Oh, I'm so scared. Don't miss these two DNA outcomes unlocked. My guest Nicole says she got a shocking Facebook message last week from a man named Kevin claiming to be her father. Problem is, Nicole has spent the last 32 years believing Jesse is her dad. They are all here to solve this DNA mystery. So what do you want the DNA results to be today? Honestly, I hope Jesse is my dad because he's all I've ever known. Um, listen, the man that was recently reached out to Nicole on Facebook claiming to be her father is joining us virtually. So, Kevin, thanks for being here. How long have you known yep. Nicole was your daughter? Yeah. Since she was born. Wow. I mean, since her mom told me she was pregnant. So, did you know there was a, possibly another man that, that could be Nicole's father? 
I just found out last week. Yeah. And so did you meet Nicole as a baby? Yeah, when she's about two weeks old. Wow. Two weeks old. So I got yeah. to ask the, the question. If Nicole's mother told you that this is your child. You're saying you saw her at two weeks old. Where have you been for the last 32 years? Part, partly incarcerated and the other part trying to find her. Okay. I've been looking. But why did it take you so long to even get help to find me? Yes. It's been, <laughs> let's say 30 years. Yes. And yeah. you're just, I'm, I'm just like, you just messaged me. Like, I feel like my life was turned upside down. Like, now I feel like I don't, once again, know who I am. And I don't like feeling like I don't know myself. First of all, I can't make up no excuse for this time. And basically, I feel it's all my fault. But I did look for you. I did message you. I tried to find you and couldn't. Why didn't your family try but to I find never, me? Never did me. They couldn't find you. I could, I could potentially have all these siblings and aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews that I know nothing about, and nobody my entire life tried to reach out to me about it. Um, Kevin, you t my producers tell me that you've actually been paying child support for Nicole. Please explain yes. that. Did you know this? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Please explain. She's my daughter. So you've been paying child support all of these years to her mother? Other than when I was incarcerated. Wow. So your mother was receiving financial support. Did she I ever did. say anything about that? Never. Okay. Never. Can I? Can yeah, I please, say Kevin, say, speak. Please, Kevin, speak. Yeah, uh, her mother knew where I was and chose not to tell her. Mm. I'm sorry, I don't believe that. I don't, I do believe, I don't believe that. One thing, exactly. of, one thing about my mother is she's always, always been up front with me about everything in my life. That's my best friend and Didn't you she's, just say, she's been there for me when neither one of you were the no, things y'all should have did no the things y'all should have did the things y'all should have did she did the things i should have had my father there for and I my mother for was that. there for, through everything for that, through everything there. like do you know it, it's not only affecting me and my adult life it affected me my childhood it even affects my children and that i'm not okay with I, I overprotect I over I my children I, because of the hurt I suffered when I was a kid because y'all claimed to be looking for me. Y'all didn't look hard enough. Mm. No, we just didn't find So then if, we if, always look. You never left our minds, our heart, or nothing. No, no, think about the responses you get now from my family. If that's you, that's you, understandable, but how do you expect me to react on them responses? I don't know y'all. So, no, don't don't. so Kevin's family is reaching out to you. I've gotten multiple Facebook friend requests. I've gotten um, his, I've spoke to. One of my potential brothers, I've spoke to. How many other children do you have, Kevin? I have 12 kids. 12. So you could potentially yep. have 12 other siblings. Yes. Or 11 other siblings. Yes. So Kevin, why now? Why are, and why are others reaching out now? Why, what is it special because about this moment? I tell you, we found her. Mm. That's why. What was the reasoning behind finding me now? Why? You're my daughter. I was your mm. daughter 32 years ago. Yeah, you were. Um, and for being I just, incarcerated. I, I and honestly, and being I honestly away. feel like you guys are reaching out to me because of guilt. For what? Because mm. of guilt. And but the thing is, I don't know if you feel guilty about not being there, but that's a feeling I don't want you to feel because I had the best stepdad anybody could ask Good. for. So I never left I having a dad. But I would have loved to have my biological father yeah. there when I needed him there. I couldn't even call any of you, you, your family, Jesse, I couldn't do that. And that very much so to this day affects me very, very, very much. Like I, I totally understand that. I don't think I you do. You I feel. don't think yeah, you do. So her, you're saying that her mother knew that where you were, but you had no idea where she was. Exactly. 
Listen, my producer told me that Jesse is very upset backstage, and I want to go back there and talk to him right now. Okay. So it's been a while since you've seen Nicole. Nicole hasn't seen her father in many years. Hi, Dad. <laughs> but is he actually her father? Or is this man, Kevin, her father? Don't miss these two DNA outcomes unlocked. You are the father. Get off my stage. Did you know there was a, possibly another man that could be Nicole's father? I just found out last week. Yeah. And so did you meet Nicole as a baby? Yeah, when she's about two weeks old. Wow. I would have loved to have my biological father there when I needed him there. And that very much so to this day affects me very, very, very much. Like I- I totally understand that. My producer told me that Jesse is very upset backstage and I want to go back there and talk to him right now. Hey, Jesse. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you, sir. Karamo. Um, so, thank you for coming here today. Mm -hmm. I got to ask you, what is your thoughts about what you just heard? It's all new to me. It's all new to you? Yeah. So you were in prison her life, and so... And so part from, of her young life. Okay, from part of her young life. So when did you find out about Cabin? No, when she found out. When she found out a week yeah. ago, you found out as about... She told me, she told me. Understand. Um, why haven't you seen her in so, and since she was five? I was seen her at eight. I had her at eight. You had her at eight. You did say she that. Had, she don't remember. She don't remember the past five. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had her in 1998. And, and for how long did you have custody of her in 1998? How long? Eight months. Eight months. Yeah, I went back to prison. How do you feel about the fact that there's now a man named Kevin that could be her father? I was the only man she was messing with. Oh. But you said, so you thought you were the only man, but now you feel no, like I didn't her. think I was the only man. So you're I saying her mom was... I knew I wasn't the only man. Mm. I knew I didn't think so. I knew I wasn't the only man. You knew you weren't the only man. Uh-huh. Mm. Do you want the DNA truth? Yeah. Do you hope that Nicole's your daughter? I don't know. So you feel a little betrayed right now because yeah. you thought that you had a good relationship. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So do you have a good relationship with her mom? No, not a relationship with her mom in 12, 10 times. 10 times? And that was back in 1992. Wow. 91. 92, 91 was the last time we yeah. talked to her mother. So um, it's been a while since you've seen Nicole. Nicole. Since she was eight years old. I want to bring her backstage and have her see you. Is that OK? Yeah. OK, I'm going to go get Nicole. One second. I'm sure you could hear what was going on. Um, I want you to have a chance to meet him and see him um, and just talk about the things that he was saying. So, will you join me backstage? Yeah. Okay. What are your thoughts? I just, um, he, when he said he had me till I was eight, he didn't. I was in foster care. You were in foster care? I went so to foster care when I was seven years old, and I went back home to my mom when I was 11. This is cold. Hi, Dad. It's hard to talk to you sometimes because you get defensive. Because you be listening to your mama. Mm. She's mm. all I had, though. Nah, I don't know. She's, you know my situation. I understand you know, that. Back. So you didn't know about the stepfather that raised her? Yeah. So all of this information you're getting today is brand new. Yeah, yeah. So you want her to be your biological yeah. daughter? She said that nothing's going to change. I was not going to change between me. You know, you deserve your truth. So I'm going to take her back on stage so that we can talk to some other people involved in this. All right. And we'll come back before the truth, um, the DNA truth is revealed. All right. All right. Thank you for speaking with me. Nicole's mother is about to join the conversation by phone. I'm surprised to hear that she's mad at me because I've never kept nothing from Nicole. She has something to say to Kevin. As far as him paying child support, never happened. And Jesse has something to say to her. Dad, that that's you know. know. That's not what this is about. But who does she think Nicole's father is? Is there any possibility that anyone else could be her father, Gina? Stay tuned. Hey, Jesse. I gotta ask you, what is your thoughts about what you just heard? It's all new to me. 
That's all I need to hear. Yeah, yeah. Is it cold? Hi, Dad. It's hard to talk to you sometimes because you get defensive. Because you be listening to your mom. She's mm. all I had, though. Yeah, I don't know. So you want her to be your biological daughter? She said that nothing's gonna change. I was not gonna change between me. You know, you deserve your truth. So I'm gonna take her back on stage and we'll come back before the DNA truth is revealed. All right. All right, thank you for speaking with me. Nicole's mom, Gina, is calling into the show to share her thoughts on the situation. She wasn't able to be here. Everyone, please welcome Gina to the show. Thank you for calling in. So I gotta ask you, what are your thoughts on what you just heard so far? Well, <laughs> a lot of different emotions, but I'm very happy that Nikki is there, and thank you, Karamo, for doing this for her. Of course. I'm surprised to hear that she's mad at me because I've never kept nothing from Nicole. I've never... Um, Mom, I'm not mad like at you. Said, I've never sugarcoated anything. Mom, I'm not mad at you. Her, I'm, but, I'm um, mad at the situation. I'm, I'm not mad at you. No, you've I been, understand that. Mom, you've been I my very that. best friend my entire life. I just I wanted to know sooner, basically. I get that. Gina, why were you shocked when Kevin when Kevin reached out? Well, first and foremost, uh, as far as Kevin goes, uh, the first thing he said was his excuse was that using Facebook, he didn't know how. I'm old, too. I know 90-year-olds that know how to use Facebook. That's not an excuse, first and foremost. As far as him paying uh, child support, never happened. I've worked ever since I was 13 years old. I supported nine children on my own. Yeah. Kevin, I see you rolling Kevin. your eyes. You're saying you did pay child support, so you're saying... Yeah, and well, what excuse? I'm not using no excuse. I have no excuse for not being with my daughter. Let me speak for a minute. I was so upset when I heard Jesse talk because I listened to Nicole pour her heart out to you, Karamo, and tell you about all her hurt and pain, mm -hmm. and then you say, I have to go backstage and talk to Jesse because Jesse's upset. Jesse makes himself the victim. You a Listen, bitch. I met Jesse in a party house. Dad, that you know. That's not what this is about. Don't do that. You met at When I gave you free food and free drink and you showed up out of my house and you did me the same day. So don't even say that, bro. I'm not no victim. He's a liar. You brought it back to you. You got This is about me, though, and finding my closure. Please just stop. This is about you. This is about you. Gina, what was going on in your life when you learned you were pregnant? When, when I was with Calvin, we weren't in a relationship. We were sleeping together. Calvin was a pimp when I met him. He had several prostitutes working for him, one of which he had six children by. So we were just sleeping together That's from time true. to time. I was very close with his mother. That's not true. I was true. very close with his mother. I was and I was very close with other you. members of his family, his cousin. I, I want to focus again back on Nicole. Because again, it's important yes. for Nicole. So whatever you all right. did in your past, right. I, I understand, understand that it led you all, so but the thing is that it led us here yes. today where Nicole doesn't have answers. Yes. So I'm not here to judge that, your past. I'm not here yes. to judge your past. I'm really not here to judge yes. either. Listen, listen, when, listen. When, when Nicole confronted you years ago, why didn't you tell her the mm -hmm. truth then? Is on my question. Because of this heartbreak she feels right now. The heartbreak I felt my entire life would send anybody over the edge. The only and I'm going to be completely honest, the only thing that saved me from myself was when I had my daughter. Because I knew that the love I lacked from my dad, she would give me, and she did. Yeah. The, what I longed for, I knew that if nobody else in this world loved me, my daughter would. Gina, is there, is there any possibility that anyone else could be her father, Gina? No. Kevin is her father. I know she told you Jesse when you were younger, but now she just said out of her own mouth that she feels very very sure that yes. Kevin is your father. So, and I have told Nicole that. But listen, I want to say this to you, she Nicole. She told you that? I, I know. She told me recently. No matter what the outcome is, if it turns out that Kevin is your dad, you need to give him a chance. And I know that you feel bad for the things that Jesse has been through in his life, and that's why you lean towards him so strong. Because you know that if he don't have you, what does he's he all, have? But he's all I but know, I also, though. My, my I know that. My, but I also my life you that every was time around, Kevin but revolved his around mouth, Jesse, though. To him. I don't Nicole, think. Let me finish. Let me finish. I don't every think I can Kevin let that go, Mom. Mouth, I. You it's gonna be. To. You don't I, have I, to. I don't know, but it's gonna you be hard for to, me to allow. Listen to me. It, it's hard, Listen Mom. Listen to me, though. You can have a relationship with both of them. But, but I just don't want Jesse to feel like I love him any different if Kevin is my dad. And he won't. We've already had that conversation. But let me tell you something. When you talk to Jesse, you talk to him with kindness and love and 
respect. When you talk That's to Kevin, my dad. you automatically get angry. I get that, but you automatically get angry well, at him. Listen. Well, you listen. have to give him a chance. So, Kevin, your son Julian is here with us today. Everyone, please welcome Julian. So, this could potentially be your brother right here. What are your thoughts on the situation? Whirlwind. Whirlwind. You know, it's, uh, it's tough any way you look at it. Yeah. So, but I mean, the most important thing is for her to find out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, truth how, is how is Nicole's story similar to your own, my producers are telling me? Kevin's son thinks Nicole is his sister. You do. Yeah. You I believe do. she's your sister. Two incredible DNA outcomes will be unlocked. We have two envelopes. <sighs> Which one of these two men is Nicole's father? Oh, I'm so scared. Stay tuned. You are the father. Get off my stage. I'm surprised to hear that she's mad at me because I've never kept nothing from Nicole. Mom, I'm not mad at you. Her, I'm, but, I'm um, mad at the situation. As far as him paying um, child support, never happened. Yet. Kevin, I see you rolling Kevin, your eyes. You're saying you did pay child support. Yeah. Is there any possibility that anyone else could be her father, Gina? No. Kevin is her father. So, Kevin, your son Julian is here with us today. How is Nicole's story similar to your own, my producers are telling me? Nearly identical. I was raised by a family member since I was 18 months old until I left, went to Santa Barbara, and then I transferred colleges to Seattle. Then he reached out, he called me, and I flew down. We sat in his living room. We had about a four or five hour conversation and our relationship from that point forward was built on that trust. Because at that point, I was like, you, I didn't trust any, I trusted that person who raised me yep. mm -hmm. and everybody else, including my siblings, were out. Are you, so you're close with your father now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you, do you believe that Nicole is your sister? You do. Yeah, You I believe do. she's your sister. There is a younger brother of mine who shares a very, very big resemblance. Got it. And so, were you shocked to sound how she was when you got a Facebook message from Kevin, from your father? Well, I think the difference was, was my mom actually reached out and they three-wayed the call because my mom, because of, you know, the person who was raising me at the time, knew where I was. So she was able to have that yeah. more direct contact. But at the same time, Similar. he's tech illiterate. He yeah. doesn't know how to, how to use those things, no matter how many times you tell him. Got it. And I've tried. Understand, so, yeah. Okay. Shut up. Alicia, 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 there's context there. Alicia, there's context there. It's not to say that it, eases anything, but at least you have context that like he's he's been there now, so he knows like he's not lying about not knowing how to use Facebook adequately enough to contact you, but that doesn't take away or invalidate no, your feelings. No, because there's people he could have I get that. I understand that. Um, I'm going to mute you all, Gina and Kevin, because um, I want to talk to um, Nicole by, by myself really quickly. You have a right to be mad at all of these people. The moment Nicole has been waiting for is just minutes away. No matter what these results are, you deserve to feel your feelings. Is Kevin or Jesse her father? <sighs> oh, I'm so scared. Don't miss these two DNA outcomes unlocked. I was raised by a family member since I was 18 months old. Then he reached out. And our relationship from that point forward was built on that trust. So I'm gonna ask you, do you believe that Nicole is your sister? Yeah, You I believe do. she's your sister. I'm gonna mute you all, Gina and Kevin, um, cause I wanna talk to um, Nicole by myself really quickly. Before we go through with the, this DNA truth, 
um, I'm noticing a pattern and I want to help you with this no matter what this DNA outcome is, is that I noticed that sometimes when we have felt abandonment issues, when we don't feel as if like who's going to be there for us, we end up latching on to unhealthy behaviors mm -hmm. or unhealthy people, but then we also end up protecting everyone around us because we're trying to mirror the relationship of protection that we didn't get ourselves. Yep. And so when I hear you this entire time, when we're talking about this, which is why I've been trying to focus the conversation back to you, back to you. You said out of your mouth, I don't want Jesse to feel bad. Your mother said, you said to your mom several times when she said, well, I don't want to be mad at me. And you were like, I'm not mad at you, I'm not mad at you. You're protecting everyone else's feelings. And that, the truth of it is, is that this is not an indictment of any of these adults' character. I don't know your mom, and I'm not gonna ever badmouth your mother. But I can look at this from a perspective as a professional and say, your mother has not done the best job and protect me from the situation. And you have full authority and full right to be mad. Jesse was in and out of your life, and also I just watched him have a childlike reaction to your feelings. And, and he, he, you have a right to be mad at him. You have a right to be mad at all of these people. You have a right to not have to tell them that you forgive them, that you, to coddle their emotions. And the reason I'm muting this is because, ironically, the only person thus far who has actually mimicked behavior that is more mature is Kevin. He's the only one that has allowed you this entire time to say what you say. He wasn't interrupting you. He was allowing this. And why I'm telling you this is because I want to make sure that you now have someone showing you what behavior to look out for. Because if you're going to go on this journey of growth, no matter what these results are, as the woman you are, for you to grow past these issues of abandonment, to know, you, to know that these were not, this is not about you. You know, one of the things you said out of your mouth was, um, I feel worthless and, and I felt defeated as a child because why didn't these people want me? It's not that they didn't want you. It's that they, they didn't make choices to be honest and to be communicate the way they should have. Um, and I say that to say, because of that feeling of like, where's my worth, and I was, I, I feel defeated, that's why you're still protecting them. You, if you feel angry, which you should, and I want to give you full permission, you should be pissed at your mother. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, but I'm not. Hold on, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, because I understand that what I'm saying to you, after 30 something years of practicing one behavior, it's not gonna be received immediately. You have had to protect her in hopes that she would mimic that behavior back to you. So of course your response, and I understand your response is gonna be, but I'm not, but I'm telling you, you should be. You also don't deserve the abusive way that he is, Jesse is. I asked this man backstage five times if he wanted to be your father or not, and he said, well, if she wants to. Feel that it. hurt me to the depths of my soul. You don't need to protect anybody who's gonna hurt you to the depths of your soul. You deserve to Feel your feelings, to know that you are worthy, and then to know that you deserve the truth. You are the child that should have been protected. You are the child that should have been let in on this information. Right. And what's going to help you build your worth is remembering that and not protecting the people who should have done that for you. Okay? We can unmute them. So this is your moment. It's time to unlock the DNA truth. This has been 32 you years. You got it. 32 years. Oh, I'm so scared. I know you are. I know you are. We have two envelopes because there's two men in question here. Okay. So I'm going to give you the first envelope that has contains the DNA truth. Okay. This is your truth to open, and I'm here for you. Oh, I'm so scared. It's all right. I'm here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Will Nicole find out her father is Kevin or find out it's always been Jesse? Don't go away because the incredible answer is unlocked next. have two envelopes 
because there's too many questions here. Okay. So I'm going to give you the first envelope that has contains the DNA truth. Okay. This is your truth to open, and I'm here for you. Oh, I'm so scared. That's all right. I'm here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Me. What does it say? What does it say? It's me. Jesse is not my biological father. Jesse is not your biological no. father. Okay. What did I tell you? Okay. It's all right, Nikki. It's all right. It's all Jesse's right. Now. Okay. Jesse, oh. get it together, bro. So this is what you. it is. You know what? This may seem harsh, but reading that. In a way, it hurt, but I felt a sense of relief in the moment of me feeling yeah. pain. Yeah. I did. Yeah. And that's what matters. That's what matters. Your feelings. Yeah. Be honest about your feelings. When I read it, it was it was like, okay, what I've known is it what I've you know what yeah. it is, but in a sense, in the mix of that emotion, in a way, my heart felt more whole. Good. It, <sighs> now, there will be moments that will pop up that you're going to have to grieve that relationship because you've spent your entire life putting it into a category of how it fits into who you are as a woman and how it fits into the dynamic of your family. So there's going to be moments where it's going to pop up where you, the relief will turn into something else. So be aware of that. But at least you have your truth now. And you're also getting to express your truth. Now we have one other DNA. Yeah, I'm so and nervous. <sighs> Kevin is my biological father. <laughs> That's my brother. That's your brother. You want to come down here and come meet your sister? Come meet your sister. Yeah, I have no idea what to do. Thank you, Kevin. That's your brother that you just hugged. I see also relief. There's relief, you're breathing. What's going through your mind right now? I'm happy. I because I know, I, what pops in my head is that memory I had of, that's my aunt. To know that I have brothers and sisters and nieces, nephews, cut, like, we got family, y'all. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God, you have no idea. Kevin, how do you, Kevin, how do you feel in this moment? Uh, <laughs> you have no idea how, what this means to me. Uh, it, my, my head is like 10 pounds lighter. I hope we can start from here and build a relationship. That's right. And I got to tell you this, too. You have no idea how big your family is. <laughs> he was nodding his head right here. He's like, <laughs> no idea. Yes, I, I, can, gotta, I can say, though. You got about 60 for, or 70 cousins. Right for me, this is the closure that I've longed for my entire life. And I feel like okay. I do have a peace of mind. The closeness that I've longed for won't happen overnight, but I feel like I deserve to know yes, you do. who I am now. Yes, you I do. deserve to, I feel like I do need to give him a chance to, to be my dad. If there's any indication from your relationship, from your relationship, it sounds like he's gonna step up. Is that what it's been like yes. for you, your experience? It has, but it's, you know, it's twofold. You really have to do it on your time. Mm. You have your truth now. So there's no timeline into how you go about accepting Amen. going forward. Amen.
This kid, Big Brother, about how? Uh, who's Big Brother? Are you Big Brother? Yeah, how old are you? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. He's my Big Brother. Big, it was giving Big Brother vibes. It was already. It was already giving Big Brother vibes. I don't know if you felt it. It was already yeah. like little yeah. sister. Hey, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Um, well, we well, got sure. a Big Brother that's going to guide you, and he couldn't. I couldn't have said it any better. Yeah. Everything he said, I agree with, and um, I'm glad that you have this clarity in your life. You have your truth. I've met many people on the stage, and you deserve this. You deserve this so much. I'm glad you got a big brother who's smart as hell. <laughs> you, got a, you, got a, you got a great family here, you know what I mean? You have a loving mother. You now have a father who wants to do the work to be in your life. Best of luck with everything, all right? Seriously, best of luck. All right, everyone, thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all.